In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add text in Premiere Pro. Hey guys, my name is Scott and I make full and mini tutorials like this one on Premiere Pro, Photoshop, and freelancing tips, so please do consider hitting the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any of those. Okay, let's get into how we can add text in Premiere. So I have my footage here on my timeline and I want to add text to it that says the city name of Chicago. So there's a few ways to do that, but I'm going to show you one way that I think is the easiest, which is if I go to my toolbar at the bottom right of my screen, and if you don't see this toolbar in your workspace, you can always go up to window, scroll down to tools, and make sure that it's selected. Then the toolbar should pop up. So in the toolbar, there is a text option that I'm going to click on. Next, I'm going to go back up to my preview screen and click anywhere on the screen where I want my text to show up. Now I can start typing Chicago, and then hitting the letter V as a keyboard shortcut, it will switch back to my selection tool. I can then drag the text box to position it how I want it on the screen. Okay, so now that I've got it where I want it, I can start to change the settings of the text, like the font style, how big it is, the color, by going over to the effects control panel, and inside of that, there's a text area with all the settings that I just mentioned. The first thing I can do is I can change the font style. So if I click on the drop down menu in the source text area, a big list of different fonts will come up. If you already know what font you'd like to use, you can just type that in and it should bring up that font. So I'm going to type in Futura and use that. This next middle section here allows you to change the size of the font and spacing. I can change the font into more of a bold setting or use italics. I can also change the size of the font by moving the slider next to it. Below that, there's an option to set the text to justify left, center, or right. The next area is where you can really control how the words and letters are positioned from one another. The first setting is tracking, which mainly will spread the words out from each other, as well as the lettering within the words. That's very similar to the next option, which is kerning, that will push or pull the letters in a word closer or farther apart. Next is leading, which will create space from words that are either above or below each other. Then there's baseline shift, which will move letters or words up and down. Next we have the appearance area, and this is where I can control the color of the text. So with the fill, I can click on that and a color picker window will come up, and I can choose any color here that I want the text to be. So I'm going to go with red for now, but let's say that I want the text to match the color of one of the buildings in the video. I can use the eyedropper icon next to the fill option, and if I click on that and go back to the preview window, and then click somewhere on the building. When I do that, the color of the text now matches the part of the building that I clicked. Just below the fill area is the stroke, and that will create an outline of the text. I have the outline set to white right now, but if I wanted, I could change the color by hitting the white color box next to stroke. I can also change the size of the outline by moving the numbers to the right, up or down. After that, there's the background, which will create a box around the text that forms a background. This might come in handy if you were creating subtitles or something like that. And again, I could play around with the size settings to get it to how I want. And then there's shadow, which will create a drop shadow effect on the text. This can help make the text stand out more from the video. And it also comes with a bunch of settings that you can play around with that control the distance of the shadow and the opacity. Now, if I wanted to add another line of text at the same point in my video, I don't have to create a new text graphic anywhere on my timeline. I can actually just click on the preview monitor where I want the new text to be, and it will add a new text area to the same text graphic that I'd used before. So you can see the new line of text is here and the old one is below it. This is convenient so that you can control each line of text in the same effects panel, and then you don't have to create a ton of text graphics that would pile up on your timeline. And then very briefly, I just want to show you that there are preset text titles and intros that come with Premiere. If you go to the Essentials Graphics panel and click Browse, you'll see that there's a ton of different preset titles for intros, credits, lower third graphics, and you can add all of those to your timeline sequence. These presets are nice because they're super easy to apply, and they give your project a little more of a professional look to them. So that's how you can add text in Premiere Pro. What other kind of issues with text are you guys having with Premiere? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can answer them. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share it with anyone else who might also enjoy it. For more information on Premiere Pro, 
Photoshop, and freelancing tips, head on over to my website at scottedwardfowler.com. Also, check out my other tutorial videos which I posted on the right side of the screen here. Alright, that's it for me guys. See you in the next video.